All right, Happy New Year's Eve. Okay, guys, I really thought I was going to be able to get through uh, <laughs> every sign, but it looks like I didn't get around to it. This kitten is like a full-time job. <laughs> Anyway, okay, so I decided, since I'm not going to be able to get to all the um, yearly readings, what I'm going to do is uh, all sign singles um, for tonight. Okay, I think that's what it is. Okay, so let's see what comes up. All sign singles uh, tonight reading. Okay, all right, so let's start with Aries. Start with Aries. All right, let's see. Let's mix these up. All right, let's see this. A smile is a curve that sets everything straight. Phyllis Diller. Okay. So I feel like comedy might be the way to get you through some things here. Okay. All right, so, um, oh, yeah, let, Aries, let's ask real quick what that Aries uh, retrograde is bringing in. I'm curious to see what that does. Okay, that support. Okay, so let's see, Aries energy, what is that? Let's see what that's. Okay, so Eris retrograde is, okay, so it's like, be steadfast, be stead, oh, okay, be steadfast in what you're bringing in and have patience with yourself as you're moving through 2024, um, because it will be seen in the light of day, the rays of light. And this to me is like the symbol for um, wood, uh, wood dragon, wood dragon. So I feel like for you, it's going to be a very auspicious year. Woo! Okay, so now this, okay, so whether it be in love, career, or finance they're suggesting have patience now if, it, if this could be any sign because a lot of times people harness this energy to bring in their things so this is the new potential coming in for you all right now let's get an adventure card and see what comes up okay road trip minus car for your next journey, trade your road trip for a rail trip. Okay, some people have done that, right? Okay, so railway. Hop on a local commuter or a light rail line and ride it to its uh, terminus. Pack a picnic to share before you hop back on and head home. Okay, so... I feel like for some of you, like living in Europe or whatever, you're, the train is the way to go so that you don't drive, right, and have a few too many. I feel like that's the message here. Okay. Also, okay, so. In Europe, they have these rail rides that you can take, like from Paris to, they're really nice. Okay, certain ones. Okay, so um, maybe take a look into that. Okay. I'm getting like if you took one and you weren't that impressed, upgrade to like some other. I'm getting a feeling of faraway land if you're living in America. <laughs> but, okay, but anyway, like for instance, I feel like uh, if it's in Florida. Then there's like the sun rail and things like that where you could go um, to what downtown Winter Park or something. Okay. All right. Anyway. All right. So let's see. Let me get one more. Woo. Okay. So see, for some of you, you're, you're going to be like, should I stay or should I go? Right? Should I stay or should I go now? I'm getting that song. So you might be dancing somewhere and hear that song. Should I stay or should I go now? But that's literally what could be going on with some of you Aries trying to decide 
make a decision on where you're going to make your money moves and where you're going to, um, who you're going to connect with and uh, who you could have two decisions tonight of who you want to go, where you want to go. So it's suggesting get quiet and uh, listen and it will be revealed to you. That's what I'm getting. And you align your head with your heart and the answer will come. Woo, who's this? Okay, now for some of you, it's someone with dark hair. How many cups is this? Nine. Okay, nine. Nine of cups. Wish fulfillment. Okay, so again, the message is have patience with yourself as you're moving through. Uh, stay steadfast and strong and um, do move some things around a little bit. That's what I'm getting. Okay, but love potential is here career potential is here wow this is great i'm just do, i was gonna do just the singles but i feel like for someone um you know who that reminds me of Paige harvey for some reason okay so Paige harvey or it might be someone who wears lots of bracelets or bangles okay now let's see hmm I was reading an article. So this could be someone from another country, like India, because I'm getting Britain and India. Okay. And I'm also getting... Um, someone might meet at a concert or something. That's what I'm getting for someone. All right. Okay. Now let's get one more. Okay. Okay, what is the Seven of Pentacles? Okay. I feel like for some of you, you're going to not want to work and go out. And I would suggest, yes, do it. I feel like uh, that would be a good thing for uh, Aries energy. Okay. Um... another one on that okay so this is saying don't take shortcuts continue working on your mastery whatever it is you're doing expand but keep working through now that heiress retrograde again like i said here is going to feel like maybe it's not happening so just have patience and move through that retrograde period and Okay, for some of you, the deliberation in your mind is whether you want to stay single or work this year on being uh, with someone. Okay, now I feel like whoever this is, is spiritual being, and uh, they could have some sort of connection with birds. Okay, so getting that. <sighs> Might be someone from the Middle East who... Um, that's I'm um, getting that again. Okay. Woo! Oh my gosh. Okay. So see, that's what it's saying. It's like whatever your dreams are and your goals, keep working uh, through your uh, things and be your own cheerleader. Okay. And work on uh, your through your emotions because this is all reversed. So that would be emotions. Work through your emotions. And, and you will have success in love. Okay, so wish fulfillment and success lined up here in love. Okay, so whatever it is, your happy place, um, whether it be career, finance, uh, love, it's coming. Okay, so when someone messages you, be open to receive, right? Because sometimes you'd just be in your own world here. Uh, open to receive invitations or emotional offers. Okay, here's a fish here. Okay, so could be a <clears throat> Pisces or a Virgo. Okay, but that Virgo energy could be the Virgo moon we're in. So that could feel emotional and wanting to be safe and stay at home and nurture yourself. Okay, so... Um, 
Okay, so whatever seeds success. Now this card, the chariot, is like um, be diligent in your discipline. Have discipline. Work on the things where you feel like you lack discipline and work through those things. And if you master that, because you got the mastery card over here, if you master that, then you will have ultimate success sooner than you think. Okay, now see again for some of you you're going to have a choice between two one is more like an orion energy uh, it's like watery and might be a water sign okay and okay so what they're saying here i'm getting sphinx energy so it's like if you let's say you said no to a fire sign okay um give it a go because it might be the perfect match for you uh, any fire sign the other thing i'm getting is uh, it could just symbolize someone who's passionate about life and living and uh, what they're doing okay now chariot could also be opposition so it could be someone who's been dealing with opposition energy or like um even the war stuff so that could be like government and um anyway that's what i'm getting they could have been battling something within their own dynamic whether it be career family or um even a past love situation yeah see okay but there is success and love coming oh my god and there's like okay so there's an angel and two people here okay so I feel like if you're at a crossroads about who to go with, you're going to know. Yeah, see Hierophant. Okay, so this sometimes can represent government structures or religion. Okay, so the key, I feel like who, when you meet this person, you're going to feel like you, uh, the puzzle that was uh, needed to finish the puzzle. Okay, I'm getting that. Okay. Woo! Okay, so you may want to just stay home and work on healing and do spa and stuff like that. But I feel like the message is, if you get an invitation, consider it. Don't deliberate too long. Be spontaneous. Um, don't overthink it and move through your emotions and take the offer. Could be Aquarius. Okay. All right. Now, how you would know for some of you would be someone who uh, it felt like they broke your heart. Okay. And that's how you know who this person is. And you took a resting period from it. And uh, you, what is that? You felt like you couldn't have victory and you were thinking about all angles of how to approach it. You even had resistance against it. So that's like, I'm getting this as sword. So it's like, uh, in your mind, you were thinking of all the reasons why it shouldn't, uh, why you shouldn't go towards this thing. Now this could be future, so watch out for this energy. In the mind, you're making up all kinds of things about uh, this person. Uh, what? Okay, in your mind, you were making up all kinds of negative things about this person so that you wouldn't go towards them, okay, and didn't communicate even though you really wanted to. You're just in your mind. I'm getting this as swords too. All right, now. All right, so then they're saying here, Oh, okay, I see what they're saying. Okay, so they're saying here, because of the retrograde, you know, some kind of emotions, again, could come up like this. You want to move, steer away from that, move your emotions into uh, messaging. When you get a quick message, oh, this could be Mercury retrograde, too. Okay, so it's like message... And you will have success in that. You got the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. So for some of you, it's a water sign or earth sign. I'll leave you with that. 